Hi everyone, welcome to the Celebrity Diaries. Billy Preston, an American performer, had a total assets of $1 million when he passed away on June 6, 2006, at 59 years old. After his passing, the genuine worth of his music index and the eminences it produced became obvious, uncovering it to be worth fundamentally more than at first assessed. Over the long run, these resources ended up being very significant, adding up to a huge number of dollars, far incredible, his unique total assets. Billy Preston was quite possibly one of the most sought-after meeting keyboardists in the 1960s, playing behind the absolute greatest names in music. During this period, he worked with legends like Lil Richard Beam, Charles the Drifters, and the Beatles, adding his exceptional touch to their famous sounds. Later in his vocation, Preston made performance progress with a few hit singles tunes, like Out of Don't Space Anything from Nothing and With You, I'm Brought Back to Life, displayed his ability, and hardened his place in music history as a flexible and achieved craftsman early life, displayed his ability, and hardened his place in music history as a flexible and achieved craftsman early life and profession. Starting points Billy Preston brought into the world on September 2, 1946 in Houston, Texas, and raised by his mom Robbie in Los Angeles, is an exceptional figure in music history. His ability arisen right on time with Preston dominating music all alone as a small kid. By the youthful age of 10, he was at that point playing the organ close by gospel, illuminating presences like Mahalia Jackson exhibiting an expertise a long ways past his years at only 11 years old, Preston's blossom vocation Toshin. A huge jump when he showed up on Nat Ruler Cole's network show, performing Blueberry Slope with the amazing Cole he exhibited his phenomenal melodic capacities to a public crowd not long after he made his film debut in Sluis Blues, a film including Nat Ruler, Cole further establishing his place in. Media outlets Preston's venture took one more crucial turn in 1962 when he joined Little Richard's band as an organist. It was during a presentation in Hamburg that he previously ran into each other with the Beatles, a gathering that would later end up being critical. Quick forward to 1969, and the Beatles were wrestling with inward struggle, wavering near the precarious edge of disbandment in a fortunate wind. George Harrison, having briefly left the gathering, went to a Beam Charles show where Preston was performing, perceiving Preston's ability and the positive energy he could bring. Harrison and V welcomed him to join the Beatles in the studio Preston's presence during the Beatles' get-back meetings, was completely groundbreaking his skilled organ in electric piano playing not just advanced the music yet additionally diffused the discernible strains inside the band his commitment were influential for such an extent that he played close by the Beatles during their notorious roof show and remarkable goodbye execution in April 1969, the tune Get Back was particularly credited to be. Oh, the Beatles furthermore? Preston a demonstration of his priceless info. His joint effort with the Beatles didn't end there. He too played the organ on I Need You. She's so weighty and something from the acclaimed Abbey Street collection, Billy Preston's inheritance is set apart by these commitments delineating his significant effect on one of the most powerful groups in music history solo vocation. His profession started in 1963 with the arrival of his presentation collection. A 16-year-old well-grounded person denoting the arising of a youthful and gifted independent craftsman by 1965, Preston had hardened his standing as a marvelous instrumentalist with the most intriguing organ at any point delivered during his spell as an ordinary entertainer on the well-known melodic assortment. Television program Get Together Preston's vocation arrived at new levels in 1969, when he endorsed the Beatles' apple mark under the creation of George Harrison. He delivered That Is The Way God Arranged It. The collection's title track turned into a critical hit in the UK displaying Preston's exceptional mix of gospel and rock, even after the Beatles disbanded in 1970. Preston's coordinated effort with Harrison proceeded, adding to various performance projects in 1971 in the wake of leaving Apple Records and joining a which took off to number two on the announcement Hot 100 and acquired Preston a Grammy grant for Best Pop Instrumental Execution. This period denoted the pinnacle of Preston's business achievement. Preston kept up with his energy in 1972 with the arrival of Music Is My Life, which incorporated the diagram-beating single Will It Go Round, Around and Around. He followed this accomplishment with nothing from his 1,974 collection, The Children and Me, and Space Race from Everyone Who Loves Some Sort of Music.
These hits additionally solidified his status as a flexible and inventive performer in 1979, following a productive seven-year run with A&M. Preston changed to Motown Records. He worked together with Sarita right on the heartfelt polling form with you. I'm brought back to life, which accomplished critical achievement, arriving at number four in the U.S. graphs anyway. The 1980s saw a decrease in Preston's profession due to battles with liquor and cocaine addictions. During this turbulent period, he zeroed in basically on meeting work and delivered a few collections, including the way I'm pushing on broadcasting in real time, and you can't hold a decent man down after a nine-year rest. Preston made a remarkable rebound in 1995 with the collection Billy's Back. His last independent studio collection, You and I, was delivered in 1997, covering off an astounding vocation that crossed over 30 years of different coordinated efforts and pay Billy Preston gathered huge abundance through various coordinated efforts all through his profession. In the 1970s, he played consoles for the Drifters, adding to famous collections, for example, Tacky Fingers Exile on Central Avenue, and beat up from 19773 to 1977, he filled in as their fundamental visiting keyboardist. Past the Rolling Stones, Preston wrote Joe Cocker's hit, You Were So Lovely, and worked together with striking specialists like Luther Van Rose, Patti Lale, and Whitney Houston in the 1980s. He likewise visited with prestigious artists like Eric Clapton, Ringo Starr, and the band in the mid-2000s Preston, included on Johnny Money's collection American Four. The man comes around and continued visit ING with the funk siblings and Steve Winwood. He rejoined with Eric Clapton for visits across Europe and North America and showed up on Beam Charles' collection. Virtuoso loves organization. His later work included teaming up with the Red Hot Chili Peppers on their collection. Arena Arcadium Preston's conclusive accounts were made in 2005 and 2006, contributing vocals to Neil Precious Stone's 12 Melodies and Eric Clapson and JJKE's The Street to Escondido in the event that he didn't enjoy to an extreme the fact that by the time Billy makes it possible Preston passed on, it was assessed that he would have had about $40 million, all things considered of just $1 million, as Forbes reported at. However, that time gay Preston's sexuality known to companions and associates in them. A music industry stayed a confidential matter until right away before his passing. His hesitance to come out openly was affected by his profound strict convictions and his solid connections to the church. This inward struggle, as verified by Keith Richards in his life account, mirrors the complexity Preston explored in accommodating his individual character with outer assumptions further muddling. Preston's process was a troubling episode in the mid-1970s, including his life partner, Kathy Silva, and artist Guileful Stone. Preston, profoundly impacted by finding Silva in a relationship with Stone, tracked down this treachery, vital in his life and his ensuing retreat from associations with ladies in the beginning of drug use, especially cocaine, highlighted his battle to adapt to his sexual personality in the midst of cultural tensions and individual injury. Joyce Moore, Preston's supervisor, uncovered in a 2010 BBC Radio 4 meeting that he trusted in her about the enduring effect of his experience growing up misused. This injury joined with the personal unrest from his relationship with Silva and companionship with stone-molded Preston's individual fights. Moore saw that Preston's medication use was an adapting system, a method for dealing with the inward clashes he confronted in regards to his sexual direction and the injury he persevered illicit drug use and legitimate difficulty following the disintegration of his commitment with Silva. Preston found himself wrestling with inner disturbance to adapt to his aggravation. He went to the horrendous hulk of cocaine and liquor. These substances advertise brief comfort. At the end of the day, exacerbated his concerns, driving him down a slippery path of enslavement in 1991, perceiving the critical outcomes of his habit-forming conduct. Preston made the bold choice to enter a medication recovery program. This denoted a vital second in his life, as he recognized the requirement for proficient assistance to beat his addictions regardless of his earnest endeavors. Inconvenience appeared to follow him intently throughout a late spring eclipsed by probation. Preston's life took a dull turn when he was captured on charges of physically mishandling a 16-year-old kid. The gravity of these allegations lingered enormously, threatening to irreversibly discolor his notoriety. Thanks for watching this video.